Hi, my name is Chris Crawford, and I'm playing Prince Herbert, Robin's Minstrel, The Historian, French Taunter, and others in Monty Python's Spamalot at Orlando Shakespeare Theater, running now through October 11th. I grew up in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Uh, lived there my whole life until uh, college. Uh, moved away, I got my master's at the University of Arkansas, and from there went directly to work at the Shakespeare Theater in Washington, D.C., worked a season there and uh, went back to Tulsa to start a theater company and I was the artistic director of Playhouse Tulsa for six years. Uh, it was a very successful regional theater company in Tulsa, Oklahoma and that brought me to Florida because I worked with a couple different directors and uh, ended up doing a show down here and fell in love with the theater community here and picked up and moved. Favorite hobbies that I do in my downtime? I don't know. I love, I love running. Um, I love reading. I love just vegging out and watching TV. Um, really, I have so little downtime that I spend most of it sleeping. <laughs> I was a little late in realizing that I wanted to be an actor. I, I didn't start acting until my first year of college. Um, I had a full ride scholarship to do min instrumental music education. I'm a trumpet player. And uh, about a week before I was supposed to move into the dorms, I freaked out and thought, no, I don't want to be a band director my whole life. And so I uh, panicked and went to a school in Tulsa that a lot of my family had gone to. And as a communications major, because I thought you can do anything with a communications degree. And one of the qualifications or requirements for the communications degree was you had to at least audition for one of the shows uh, in the theater department a season. So I auditioned for Man of La Mancha, and the director called me and said, we're going to cast you, and I begged her, please, please don't, because I was crazy afraid of being in front of people. And, um, and then, all of a sudden, I walked on stage and got my first laugh, and that was it. A musical, I would have to say, I know it's cliche, but I would have to say Into the Woods. I love Into the Woods. Um, I love the characters. I love the story. Play, I would have to say... The History Boys, or um, this was Off-Broadway, but Sons of the Prophet is a great play. Oh, this one hasn't been done. Sunday in the Park with George. Uh, George in Sunday in the Park with George is, is one of my all-time dream roles, so if I got to play it on film, that would be incredible. I would have to say binge-watching Criminal Minds. Like, Criminal Minds is my go-to. Um, I it, Now they're all on Netflix, so that's a plus, so you can just sit and zone out for hours on Criminal Minds. My first professional acting job was Bat Boy in Bat Boy the Musical. I was 19 um, and had no idea what the show was and my friends decided to all go to this audition one day and we went and they called me and that just kind of started everything. My favorite television show I would have to say right now is Veep with Julia Louis-Dreyfus on HBO. I'm in love with her. Uh, she's a comedy inspiration of mine and that show is brilliant. Uh, my favorite movie of all time is Finding Neverland. Uh, I love anything to do with the Peter Pan story, and, and that movie touched me in such a deep and profound way. And book, I don't know. I mean, I guess I'll go with the cliche response and say I'm a Harry Potter kid, so I grew up with the Harry Potter series. This experience has been fantastic. Uh, the people that I get to work with and learn from and watch on a daily basis, I, I feel like the luckiest person in the world. Like. The, the comedy and the, and the singing and everything that happens in this show is just so brilliant. This, this experience is unlike any other. Audiences should expect a good time. It is just fun. It's an absolute blast to do, and I think the audiences that have seen it so far are having a blast. Uh, just come ready to laugh and get lost in, in the fun. Well, the show for me, uh, especially Act Two, is a marathon. I mean, it's if I'm not on stage, I'm changing clothes into someone else and running to get to stage for my next entrance. Uh, so it, very little time to breathe is probably a con, but it's also a pro because, like, how many opportunities do you get to play five, six different characters in one show? It's, it's an incredible experience, and I'm, I'm very lucky to be able to do it. And they're all so much fun to play and so different. Ah... Uh, my favorite, I don't know. I mean, how can you not love Herbert? Like, Herbert is such a squirrely little guy and uh, so, so far away from, from me in real life. So when I got the opportunity to play Herbert, I think I, that was a blast. 
Yes, I was definitely a fan of the show. I, I saw the original Broadway cast uh, do the show in New York and fell in love with it. I mean, I laughed so hard and uh, have wanted to do it now for years. My favorite sequence in the show, I'll do two. I'll do one that I'm involved in and one that I'm not, that I love watching. Um, but the one that I'm, the sequence that I'm involved in, I, I'll go back to Herbert. Like, I just, I love the scene with Michael as my dad and uh, literally trying to just crack each other up uh, every night, every performance. And the scene that I'm not in that's my favorite is Robbie Pygott as Brother Maynard. It is worth watching the show. It's hysterical. Uh, he, he is a comic genius. I love that guy. I don't think I've had any embarrassing moments. I have had moments where other people have cracked me up on stage. Um, and that's hard to do because I'm hard to break. But the people in this cast seem to be able to find a way to break me. Uh, and, and I try to do that to them too. But we just, we just have a great time. I think the best piece of advice that I've received is from um, my speech, my voice and speech coach in grad school. Uh, I was going through a hard time, and I think as artists, we sometimes doubt and question way more than we should. And I think it goes along with the territory of what we do. Um, what we do is so personal, and we give of ourselves in such a personal and intimate way to audiences and to each other. And uh, I was really depressed at one point during grad school, and, and I had a teacher uh, look at me and she said, I want you every day to look in the mirror first thing and say, I am enough. And that has stuck with me to constantly remind yourself that you are enough.